Hi, so in this video we're going to be looking at adding and subtracting uh, but with decimals this time. So it's important that you have a good grasp on what decimals are in the first place. Now later on in the course we are going to be looking at a decimal percentage and fraction equivalence. So the fact that fractions, decimals and percentages are actually the, the same thing, just different ways of um, writing something. Um, but just in general, it's important to have a vague understanding, at least, of what decimals actually are. So, obviously, we are used to our, like, thousands column, our hundreds column, our tens column, our ones column. Um, and we should be able to see that um, 100 is a tenth of a thousand. Because, well, there's a hundred... Sorry, there's 10 one hundreds in a thousand. Okay, so 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 10 hundred, okay, or 1,000. So there's 10 lots of hundreds in a thousands. There are 10 lots of tens in 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, so there's 10 lots of tens in 100. And obviously there are 10 lots of ones in 10. So there must be 10 lots of tenths um, in our next column, okay? So the next column represents tenths, which is like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and 0 0.9. Um, there are 10 lots of tenths that make up one. Okay, and then the next column, which is the hundreds, which I do not think I will be able to fit in here. Nope. Uh, but this uh, column is the hundreds column, and there are ten lots of hundreds in one tenth. Okay, so that's what a uh, one hundredth looks like, and um, there's ten lots of these in 0 0.1, just like how there's 10 lots of 10 in 100, okay? We will be doing some more work on this later on, but yeah, just a sort of yeah, yeah, good understanding of just what decimals are uh, in the first place. Right, so just like um, when we are adding and subtracting whole numbers, it's really important that you have some flexibility when working with decimals. Um, you might have a really good way of working with them that I do not cover. That is fine. As long as your method uh, works, then it's absolutely fine. Um, but I do want you to experiment with different ways of doing things and you might find that there are more efficient ways of doing it because obviously accuracy um, is the most important thing in maths. We, we need to be right. Um, being flexible with your uh, approach to things is extremely important as well, being able to look at a question and, and do them multiple ways. Um, but being efficient is also extremely important. You do not want to have to do 10 lines of working when you could have done two lines of working okay you need to be efficient as well so i want you to be thinking of those few things when you are thinking of your different ways of doing it is it accurate are you getting the right answer can i do it multiple different ways am i comfortable enough in my understanding to to do it in different ways um and is this efficient is this really the most efficient way of doing it Okay, so the um, first one that we're looking at is 34.5 plus 3.7. Um, now, if you are doing it the column method uh, or the chimney sum method, it is extremely important to line up your numbers correctly. Okay, so having your tenths in the same column, having your decimal point in the same place, that is so 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 important and uh, I've seen so many people mess up just because they're laying out their work messily and it, it can be hard if you're if you're working on plain paper um your jotters will be squared um but you know if you are working on um on plain paper 
Uh, it can be a little bit harder, but please make sure your, your points are lined up. Your ones are in the same column and your tens are in the same column, okay? How you go about adding decimals using this method is exactly the same as if you were adding whole numbers, just your answer is going to have a decimal point lined up with your decimal points in your question. So 5 plus 7 is 12. But um, so yeah, how you would go about this, how you'd write it is exactly the same. But it's important to just keep in mind that what we're actually doing here is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.7 which is 1.2, okay? It's not actually 12, okay? Just for easiness sake, we, we just say 12, um, but it's important to keep in mind what some we are actually doing. Then we're doing four plus three, which is seven, but we have um, a hole here, so four plus three plus one, which is eight, and then we just have the three in this column, so we get 38.2. Um, obviously there are different ways of doing it. So you could say, well, 3.7 is kind of near four. Um, so you could do 34.5 plus four, um, which would give you 38.5. And then you could be like, well, four is 0 0.3 bigger than that. So I've added an extra 0 0.3 on. So I need to take away 0 0.3 from this, uh, which is 30.2. Okay, so you could do it that way as well. You could also, as I said, there are multiple ways of doing it, that these are just a couple. Um, it's totally up to you how you kind of approach these as long as it's accurate and efficient, ideally. Okay, so next one, it uh, has a really important learning point to it. Uh, 789 plus 577. 577, sorry, 5.77. Now, as I said in the first one, you need to line up your numbers correctly, okay? Now, the 5 here is in the 1s column, so I need the 5 to be here, and then the sevens are in the tenths column and the hundreds column, but I don't have a tenths and a hundreds column here. So I need to add them. Okay, I need to add the tenths and the hundreds column. Um, so if you are adding or subtracting decimals that don't have the same number of decimal places, add decimal places in so that they do have the same number of decimal places. This is obviously if you're using the column method. So now I can go ahead and add these up again, making sure my decimal points are lined up with my decimal point and my answer. 0 plus 7 is 7, 0 plus 7 is 7, 9 plus 5 is 14. Okay, so I put the four in the ones column and the one in the tens column because 14, obviously the one represents a 10. Then eight plus one is nine and then the seven goes here. Okay. Now, again, there's obviously other ways of doing this. Okay, you could just add the five on first, uh, which is obviously just a relatively basic addition sum which is 794 then you've only added the five so you need to add the 0.77 uh, which would obviously give you 794.77 right the next one is a subtraction but exactly the same rules apply we've got 400 and 400 geez oh 43.2 take away 5.9. So lining up my numbers, lining up the decimal points, etc. Exactly the same rules um, as normal subtraction, apart from the decimal point being there. So 9 take away, sorry, 2 take away 9 we cannot do. So we have to borrow 
from here. Now, if you are not too comfortable with borrowing, I would recommend watching the previous video on adding and subtracting if you haven't already, because um, I do go uh, into a little bit more detail on borrowing there. So I've borrowed one from the three, so that goes down to two, and the one goes here. So I now have 12, take away um, nine, which is three. Then two take away five, I can't do, so I need to borrow from here. So this goes down by one to three, and then the one that I've borrowed comes into this column. So I now have 12 take away five, which is seven, and then I have the three there, okay? Uh, the other way of doing this, I would say, is, well, 5.9 is pretty close to what number? It's pretty close to 6. So I could just take away 6, okay? So it may be a little bit harder because it's a decimal, um, but you're just doing exactly the same as, um, as you would normally, okay? Uh, so this is just going to be... 37.2, okay? Uh, and then six is, oops, sorry. Uh, six is 0 0.1 more than what we should actually be uh, taking away. So we've taken away 0 0.1 more than we should have. So we need to add that on, okay? Uh, which gives us the answer that we got in the first place. Okay, now it is quite a, a, a skill to be able to see, well, that's six, that's near six, yeah. But then how do we account for the fact that we're actually trying to take away 5.9, not six? Um, to be able to realise we've taken away 0 0.1 more, okay, we've taken away 0 0.1 more, so how do we counteract that? Well, we have to add 0 0.1, okay? Um, yeah, so... It's not totally simple doing that, but that is a different way of doing it. Right, last but not least, just another uh, subtraction sum. So we've got 25.2, take away 6.67. Again, make sure you line up your numbers, okay? I cannot say how many times I've seen pupils mess up just because their numbers are all over the place and they don't know what they're subtracting, they don't know what they're adding, okay? Line up your numbers. So again, I can't do zero take away seven, uh, so I'm gonna have to borrow. So I've got 10 take away seven, which is three. I can't do that, one take away six I can't do, so I'm gonna have to borrow. So that becomes 11 take away six, which is five. I can't do this either, what a nightmare. So I'm gonna have to borrow, move over here. So that's a 14 take away eight, 14 take away eight, 14 take away six, which is eight, and then obviously the one, so I get 15. Oh, 18.53. Uh, apparently I'm getting my numbers all mixed up. Uh, so that is adding and subtracting decimals. Uh, if you're not comfortable with um, borrowing, please watch the first video.